I was on a break one time and I noticed a little tiny ball of wet feathers. I don't know why Mama Goose seems to be not paying attention to this little guy who is actually alive. There was a total of eight eggs and, all, and seven of them never did hatch. She was the only one that ever hatched. I'd like to somehow get the, the gosling underneath the mama. So I took a broomstick and I pushed her over back underneath of its mother. I came back the next day like four feet away and she crawled underneath of the pipe thinking that that was going to be somewhere warm because the mother kept pushing her away. I guess she's ignoring it for a reason. Mother abandoned her because she was born early. She flew away. Poor little fella. So I picked her up, put her in a box. I took her home because I knew there's no way she would have survived. She was so weak, she couldn't even hold her neck up. Within probably three or four days, she was able to you know, hold her head up and was able to waddle around. Put a little bit of warm water in the sink. He's happy. Started eating solid foods. I originally thought she was a male, so I was calling her Mr. Waddles. And just think, less than a week ago, he was about ready to die. I'd venture to say he's gonna make it. She definitely thought I was her parent. What are you doing? Why are you back talking to me, huh? She bonded with me big time. What? They say it's called imprinting, and I couldn't go anywhere, and she would be running after me. She would try to run as fast as her little legs could go. <laughs> you matter, buddy. Yeah, I'd take the dogs and her a walk, and she would follow me all the way down. She would not let me get out of her sight. Not leaving you, Waddle. She grew amazingly fast. She started you know, losing all her yellow feathers. And she started turning into her adolescent age. As time progressed, you could see where she started getting independence. I tried to teach her to fly. I would run and I'd hold my arms out. She would chase me and hold her wings out. I've never raised a goose, but I did what I could to try to teach her to be a goose. Come on, you gotta fly. Come on, Waddles. Gotta fly, buddy. Come on. And then finally one day she flew. I was really excited. She's a wild animal. I was gonna leave that up to her as to whether or not she wanted to stay around. She had that option. Uh, to go find another goose and have her own family. I'd venture to say Waddles is a happy goose. One day I, I went looking for her and her right wing drooped down. We're pretty certain that she had gotten hit by a car. Her wing was completely shattered. I literally cried my eyes out because I thought she was going to die. The money was raised to have her right wing amputated because she would have never survived without doing that. It's real important that she has a high quality of life, and especially now that she's lost her wing. I had to keep her out of water for two weeks. That was probably one of the hardest things to do, <laughs> and it was keep a goose out of water. You all fresh and clean? Definitely feel like a parent with her. Yeah, you can't touch that part. Oh, you going to play Get Your Nose? I got your nose. I got it. I got your nose. Waddles is back in familiar territory. I think he's happy to see his pond. That's your pond, buddy. If there was any doubt that you was with anybody but Waddles, this is definitely uh, proof here. She doesn't act like this with anybody else. I know. She knows who I am, but I'm the one that saved her life twice. Ow! Good morning, baby girl. I don't have any kids, so she's actually my kid. <laughs> Are you swimming? This is an experience of a lifetime, one that I'll cherish my whole life. Well, you are one spoiled goose. Right, Waddles? Ready? We're just going to the store. She's just a special goose for me.